Welcome to the project of IoT based transmission line monitoring system using Raspberry Pi as well as controlling through the relay. So in this project, so this is the main block diagram of the project. So voltage sensor and the current sensor from the transmission lines and the SD card which has the OS to run the Raspberry Pi and the ThinkSpeak to get the parameters and this can be accessed from anywhere in the world the status of the voltage sensor and current sensor and the relay status and the status will be displayed locally on the LC display so coming to this kit so here this section is going to be the transmission uh, lines node and uh, from here we are going to measuring the voltage as well as a current and this will be monitor and uh, these uh, provide the output of ADC that is analog output so basically the Raspberry Pi can't understand the analog input so that's why we are using a comparator in order to convert the analog to the digital and it will give the digital output to the Raspberry Pi so the pins are uh, going to be 3 and 4 for the voltage and current and a relay to control that whenever is there any abnormal condition then Raspberry Pi will isolate the load means isolate the transmission lines to the loads through this electromagnetic relay which is a 5 volt operated electromagnetic relay and the so called status will be displayed on locally on this 16 by 2 LCD so coming to the LCD got interfaced to the Arduino uh, sorry uh, Raspberry Pi board at 17, 18, 25 and uh, 9, 10, 11 pins of Raspberry Pi so there we need to connect the power supply for this uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, this is a transmission line supply so before switching on this kit we need to uh, enable a hotspot in a phone so with ABCD EFGHI so as I enable the hotspot in my phone which I am uh, taking the video and uh, so the uh, this is very important ABCD EFGHI and a password 129 starting 9 characters alphabets and starting 9 numbers all should be the small letters no capital no space and after enabling the hotspot in a phone uh, we need to enable the data also this is very important after that only we need to switch on the cage so give the power supply to the raspberry pi i am uh, providing the power supply to the transmission lines also so initially so the relay got switched on why because the default pins are high in the raspberry pi and once the raspberry pi is getting a uh, boot so it start running the program and the welcome message will be displayed on the lcd screen and you can check the Wi-Fi uh, in your Wi-Fi hotspot phone there will be one device got connected and uh, after that meanwhile you can log in to Yaroich so now the Raspberry Pi got initialized and welcome message will be displayed on the LCD now the status is normal because the voltage and current are set to normal and uh, coming to the ThinkSpeak just log in to the ThinkSpeak from the given credentials and after that go to private view so this is the output we are getting from the uh, raspberry pi so the voltage fault is zero now initially yeah right now got the new data so that is uh, now yeah you can check the time so for every 15 to uh, 15 seconds the raspberry pi getting uh, keep on sending data to the thingspeak app so thingspeak uh, cloud service provider so that's why to send the data to the things plague we should have the hotspot along with data internet also so through the mobile phone hotspot it will send the data so now the voltage fault and current fault are zero now and the relay status is going to be the one one nothing but it got switched on and when it is showing zero so then it will be the off and at the same time the current fault will be raised if is any fault occurred so coming to this you can uh, download this data from data imports and uh, download so you can download the data and you can see that the data will be seen here it will be in a excel sheet format right same thing including date and time and the number of entries and coming to the channel settings if you want to clear that go to channel settings and uh, clear channel and then if you go to the private view there will be the no data initial piece the whole data will be cleared so and coming to this we will show you the output in next video